I want to conclude uh, this uh, series on uh, National HRD Network and the Academy of HRD. A lot uh, has gone into the building of uh, both these institutions. A large number of people have contributed to their growth. Uh, what was HRD profession in 1974 and what it is in the year 2019. I think you see a vast difference and I think both these bodies have played a very, very significant role in the uh, evolution of the HR uh, profession and popularization of human resources development. Many may not even be able to acknowledge this because they perhaps are not even aware the kind of textbooks that are used either in uh, XLRI or TIS or uh, any of the B schools or uh, HR uh, uh, specialization in uh, institutions including uh, SCM HRD, SCM LD, uh, TAPME, uh, Geetham and a whole lot of other institutions uh, have uh, books which are essentially uh, influenced by the HR philosophy we try to promote in the year 1975 onwards. Um, however, I think as usual in India, quite often the concepts are taken, philosophy is taken, ideas are taken and uh, we, do, we are not very good at acknowledging like the way uh, the West does. So you would not find uh, any direct kind of an acknowledgement uh, to either the National HRD Network or to uh, the Academy of HRD. Uh, but however, I would say uh, many people have been influenced by the books that we have written. Also from uh, my side by Uday Parikh and my, uh, my colleague Uday Parikh and me, starting with the first uh, book on uh, designing and managing HR systems, uh, which was published in 1981, out of a workshop we held at IIM Ahmedabad in 1979 and subsequent versions of like HRD missionary, readings in HRD uh, and a variety of books published by of course the Academy of HRD including the original consulting report of uh, uh, Lars and Tobro and so on and then a book uh, from the Academy of HRD including the book by Seth Madhavan and Sarupriya on uh, organizational climate uh, surveys, a whole lot of things. I think there are at least about uh, 40 to 50 uh, books, monographs and so on, which came out of uh, both HRD Network, Academy of HRD and my own organization, TVRLS subsequently. Uh, these have impacted uh, the HR life in the country. Uh, well, we don't look for acknowledgement, but we, we are pretty proud that we are able to uh, influence uh, to a large extent the uh, HR profession. I must uh, acknowledge the great contributions that have been made by a large number of people uh, post-2000. Uh, uh, My narration, I think, practically stops by uh, late uh, 1990s, that is closer to 2000, when the Academy of HRD moved to Hyderabad and about four to five years functioned under the uh, leadership of uh, first Sayyid Madhavan, later Balaji. And later, unfortunately, we had to shift it back to Ahmedabad because the land that we got there was found to be not usable, uh, not very well developed. And whenever we wanted to start a campus there, uh, there were all kinds of other kind of issues. Uh, there was a faculty attrition, and then uh, the at that time the board felt that it is better to shift it back to Ahmedabad. So once it was shifted back to Ahmedabad. For a short period, uh, we were trying to get a director for the uh, academy. Then uh, after that, we were able to identify one Tapas Gupta, who is an XLRI graduate who worked in different countries. Um, he came here and he started off very well with a, uh, recruited a few people and uh, had a lot of interesting kind of ideas. That was the time I think we were all shaken by the earthquake in uh, Ahmedabad. Uh, soon after, I think uh, uh, Tapash didn't think that he is really uh, suited for an academic kind of a work because all through his life he had been an executive and so on. So he left and as soon as he left, I think uh, Professor Parikh uh, took over as the uh, chairman of the Academy of Richard, Zai Parikh and then um, they identified uh, Uma Jain who was uh, again a I am Ahmedabad uh, 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 fellow 
and uh, she was the director of the academy for some time and uh, she tried her best to to uh, put uh, academy of hrd in some shape but by the time already differences uh, between the academy of hrd and national hrd network started surfacing the differences were largely because i think the national hrd network has grown it has grown far beyond i think what it was when academy of hrd was handling its affairs very understandably when an organization grows and then its sister organization um, is uh, uh, not uh, necessarily uh, perceived as uh, having contributed which i think is really a question of perception at the point of time uh, so they in fact i think to give you a very silly example they started demanding rent to be paid uh, for uh, 40 cosmo villa where uh, uma jain was actually having her office i think this resulted in a very unfortunate unnecessary kind of affliction and uh, therefore i think the academy uh, decided to uh, shift back to its own uh, uh, premises in tolu cosmo villa and of course uh, uma jain storm was over and then there was a review committee that was established and identified uh, uh okay k verma as the uh, next director of the academy and then dr anil khandelwal took over as the chairman of the academy and it was uh, towards the end of his uh, period uh, k k verma and anil khandelwal's uh, period uh, uh, there was again a, uh, the term of k k was, was getting over k k in fact came all the way from delhi to head the academy of hrd stayed for about 4 uh, years struggle hard manage the the doctoral fellow program uh, and uh, at that point of time it was felt that uh, we need a change and i think we got uh, imon ghosh uh, for another 3 uh, year period and after imon ghosh for the next 4 uh, to 5 years we were only having a, a part time or rather an honorary uh, director uh, uh, dr rajeshwari narendra so i think academy of hrd has had uh, always i think issues of uh, uh, i don't say these are issues of leadership but these are issues of struggling for uh, uh, financial kind of a base not having a campus not having barring the the fellow program not having any of the program but it continue to do small small researches continue to bring out publications and uh, the most important thing that contributed to the the academy's whatever accomplishment it has had um, are the doctoral fellow students now today we have almost about uh, this is in the year 2009 19 we almost have uh, graduated about 42 candidates i think about probably about 15 uh, to 17 of them after the xlris uh, collaboration with the academy of hrd or granting the the status was over uh, so right now i think the doctoral program continues and academy of hrd has had uh, two very significant international conferences with the us academy of hrd incidentally us academy of hrd was started a couple of years after the indian academy was started of course there is a big difference between the american academy of hrd and ours American HRD Academy of HRD is a little bit of an offshoot of the American Society for Training and Development by some of those people who felt that ASTD is not doing enough in research and it was only the largely the research and university based professors who constituted the Academy of HRD which is uh, strong in uh, research Academy of HRD USA has a fairly good network but all our scholars they publish about four research journals and we have had the academy of hrd india has had two conferences one conference uh, uh, during uma jain's time at iim bangalore um, and another conference in recent times about a couple of years ago by rajeshwari narendra at iim ahmedabad and both these uh, conferences have resulted in excellent kind of publications so the academy in terms of its own dream to be international internationalize it to some extent they have done it but not to the not to the extent to which we all wanted it to be in fact we wanted the academy to be a place where scholars from all over the world uh, come and then spend short periods of time write papers give lectures and uh, also bring out publications and the most important point of the academy of hrd should be the library and so on 
when these were all great dreams we have had i don't think that the dreams can be given up i'm sure the dreams can still be accomplished because uh, today uh, quite unlike at the time when the, the academy started today social media google in fact i would say that uh, google practically is god for everyone you get anything that you want on google so you don't need an academy of hrd to provide uh, uh, resources uh, for uh, scholars and so on but all the same i think there are some excellent resources both from the academy of hrd and the national hrd network and to come back to national hrd network and conclude we were very fortunate to have uh, in the year 2000 uh, um, arvind agarwal take over as the president of national hrd network and i think that was uh, the result of the rejuvenation a number of us had done uh, hrd networks were going through a little bit of a a tough period because the uh, sale uh, chairman who was also president of the national hrd network was busy uh, rejuvenating sale itself because sale went through a little bit of a tough time as a result he didn't have much of a time to be able to visit chapters so i think many chapters started becoming dead it was at this time i volunteered to be uh, a coordinator of the rejuvenation committee and uday pari myself arvind agarwal akhil bisrai um PBR Murthy and a few others joined hands together went round from chapter to chapter spent about 6 months and rejuvenated the HR network and put of course uh, Mr Arvind Agarwal as the president of the network and after that for national HR network there is no looking back it has had the world class leaders like uh, uh, Santosh Mishra as uh, its president for almost 3 years after that we had uh, uh, dwarkanad as president uh, and after dwarkanad uh, we had uh, akil busrai as president and after akil busrai it is uh, siddiqui from marthi udyog as president and uh, 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 rajan uh, ns rajan uh, as uh, president and after uh, ns rajan we had uh, ram kumar as president and after ram kumar Uh, we had mr roy of director of hr personnel of uh, ntpc as well so we had excellent presidents and a great secretariat uh, and a journal was started thanks to pvr murthy pvr murthy was instrumental in starting a journal i think almost about 40 to 50 issues of this particular journal have come out hr in news sort of continued we provided an opportunity for a large number of people one mr mr satyanarayana who became the executive Uh, secretary and later executive director of the uh, national hr network did a great service in terms of establishing a good library in hyderabad and uh, meticulously may in fact i think he took over the hr newsletter from xlri it became hr network zone publication it used to be every month there used to be one particular kind of an issue and conferences continued i think they continued so well i think we're soon going to have the uh, uh have the i think 20th or 22nd kind of a national hrd uh, network conference in uh, chennai this year so national hrd network has grown and contributed with almost about 40 chapters about 12 to 13000 members contributed quite a lot uh, today i think both these bodies having established themselves and at the national level national institute of personal management nipm has grown similarly the indian society for training and development has grown and there are many hr uh, bodies particularly promoted by the cii confederation of engineering industries many of us feel that it is time that all hr people should be should gather together all the hr knowledge should be put together and all of this uh, should lead to our establishment of one single body may be called as the uh, chartered institute of uh, people management get an act of the parliament uh, pass it so that we can have a chartered institute which can promote body of knowledge which can establish standards which can become uh, a world class uh, body that promotes the research education uh, teaching and uh, a variety of other kind of services and we also feel that a chartered institute will help extending the entire concept of uh, human resources to the rest of the society and make a totally new beginning i look forward during my lifetime for that great day where there will be a good beginning thank you